Hi guys, it's Shalonda Gordon here again, and I want to thank you for coming back to my vlog. I hope you're having an amazing day, and today I just want to touch base on really knowing your worth and knowing your value. And I had a moment yesterday, I know yesterday I talked about looking in the mirror and all that jazz. Well, I actually had to look in the mirror myself just to remind myself that my past does not dictate my future. Now, I had a pretty crazy past. I was a little bit off the chain, some might say. Um, many, many, many would probably say I, I was really kind of off the chain, like, yeah, off the chain. Me having kids and being a single mom is like, honestly, probably God's way of saying I'm saving your life because I was headed for disaster. That's all I can really say on that. But sometimes as I walk forward, I hold myself accountable to certain things I've done as though they haven't been forgiven or as though I can't move past them or as though because of those actions that I had back in the past, I don't deserve the greatness that is ahead of me in my future. As a business lady and as an entrepreneur, you know, we are in a position where each day we have to press forward, press forward, and focus on that prize ahead. Really looking back really simply isn't an option unless it's to go back and pick up that check we dropped or whatever. You know what I'm saying. So I have to constantly look forward, yet I have many moments, and I just want to be completely honest with you, when I have to stop and be like, wait a minute, I, I might not, this might not be for me. Maybe I don't deserve this. Oh, I'm not worthy of this. And I have to go back to the mirror and look at myself again and remind myself of who I am, whose I am, and why the things ahead of me are mine to, to gain, are mine to capture, because of the ones who love me, right? So I just wanted to kind of motivate you, encourage you that if you're if you're in a situation, don't don't be a self um, sabotager, which is what I'm, I was constantly in my past known for self sabotaging. If things looked really good, yo, I was gonna do something to make sure that if it messed up, I wouldn't be confused as to why. Like I would know exactly what went down, you know. But I used to have an issue with kind of controlling and stuff like that as well. <laughs> so you know, but if you're in a situation seriously where you feel like you know, you don't deserve what is coming to you, the goodness that's coming to you, the excitement that's coming to you, the love that's coming to you. If you feel like you don't deserve that, just stop for a moment. Because anything that's coming to you, you do deserve. And your past does not dictate your future. Your past molded you into the person you needed to be so you'd be prepared for your future. But it doesn't determine what you deserve in your future. Okay? So don't allow it to. Go ahead and brush that off each moment. It, it, even if you have to do it a few times a day. Like I have to do it a few times sometimes and just shake it off and keep it moving. Because thoughts will come to your mind. Just don't give them any airtime. Okay? Just stay focused on the prize at hand. Continue to move forward. And remember that you are loved and that things are meant for you. You, you deserve every bit of greatness that's coming your way. Okay? And this is good because as a single mom, if you, you see things this way, your children are going to watch you and they're going to begin to realize, you know what, I deserve this. I deserve this regardless of what mistakes I've made in the past. They have been forgiven and this is a future that I deserve. Okay, so have an amazing day, guys. Make sure you stay warm. The weather out here is kind of weird. It's like kind of warm, but I guess it's going to be cold again soon. But keep it together. Have a great day and keep smiling.